Howdy folks, Brian here. Today I'm going to be whittling a golf ball. Uh, this will be the first time I whittle a golf ball, so it'll be a lot like the chain video that I did. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the comments. Um, I got a bunch of these from a friend, so if I screw one up, or four, it's probably okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to take this golf ball here, and uh, Andrea has a piece of um, leather that she had left over from something else. I'm just going to stick it in here, and I'm going to use a hacksaw to cut the two sides in half. Let's see how this goes. Well, it looks like I've cut all the way through it. Looks like this one might have kind of a yellowy, greeny center to it. I've been told that all these golf balls have a little different centers in them, so... Different colors. Alright, well, let's see... Uh, let's see what we can get off here. I think anything small that you can pry with will probably work. Or maybe even anything big you can pry with. <laughs> I also think that a wider blade is better. So, you know, if you're thinking about using an X-Acto knife or something like that, I, I'd probably caution against that. I think, I think the wider this blade is, the more room it's going to make to get whatever you're going to pry with in there to actually pry with. I feel like I almost got it. Hey, <laughs> look at there. Now, I think some of these golf balls are probably easier to get apart than others. Like I said, some of these, uh, well, it says gold, and it's kind of gold on the inside, isn't it? Descriptive. Maybe they're all descriptive. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount these two together somehow. Uh, partially so I can have something to hold on to, and then partially so I can have a stand. So, I think that'll be step two. Okay, I've got a uh, 
three quarter inch wood screw. I think it's a number seven. Honestly, I don't think you probably even need anything that big, but um, it's what I've got. So that's what we'll use. <laughs> uh, go ahead and go ahead and drill a little pilot hole. See if I can get that sort of in the middle. I'll drill another pilot hole. All right, that looks pretty good. Plus, it'll give me something to hold on to when I'm carving. So, let's go see how it carves. Okay, well, I cut a few more of these. This is the one that uh, I cut first. It actually says gold on it, and it is gold, yellow. Andre actually cut this one. Um, she can't stay away, I guess, so that's all right. <laughs> uh, so that looks like a pretty good one. That's a neat little speckled, kind of speckledy. So I figured I'd cut a few of these just to show you that you can really, there's, there's quite a variance. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm going to carve here um, maybe I'll just uh, do kind of a simple face and see where it goes I'm assuming I can draw on this with a with a pencil yeah it's basically a rubber ball in here is, is basically what it is So I think, think I'll make a few marks and um, see where that gets me. I don't know. Probably just a simple face. Just to see how it cuts, since I've never done one of these before. Okay, here goes nothing. Cut's really squishy. <laughs> That's really strange. It doesn't cut necessarily hard, but it's really squishy and kind of weird. I'm 
not exactly sure what to think of it. Very strange. I suppose this is what it's like to cut into a rubber ball. Huh. Weird stuff. I gotta say, at this stage, I'm not sure why anybody would want to carve a golf ball. I mean, number one, there's a lot of work just getting to the part that you can carve. You gotta cut this open and peel it off. Number two, it really, it seems like, okay, well, there's no grain you have to worry about, like, within wood, or, or, uh, there's no, um, you know, it's not as it's not as maybe hard as some woods, but really, you stick your knife in here and you can't hardly get it back out again because it's just it's rubber. Part of this, I'm sure, was because I really didn't have a plan to begin with what I wanted to carve. But boy, I just uh, not not happy with the outcome. Eh, guess I got nobody to blame but myself. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not sure why anybody would want to carve a golf ball. It just, I, I, I think wood is a lot easier. A lot more predictable, I suppose. Oh well. I think I'll carve a few more. Or maybe I'll carve a little more on this one. And, uh see where it leads but I, you know at this point I will say if you're gonna do this um, 
some of the golf balls we we cut open we couldn't hardly get the little outside shell off and I don't know if it's because they were old golf balls or I don't know but it seemed like they were just welded on some of them came off really easily like this one um, again a thicker saw blade is probably better I wouldn't I wouldn't try cutting into it with a knife um, I don't know I mean, if, if you've had good experiences with carving golf balls, let me know in the comments and um, let me know what you did to, to, to make it a good experience. You know, I thought maybe I should just get my gouges out or something. I thought I could do all this with my, with just a, with just the knife, you know. But like I said, I would, I would stick it in somewhere and I, <laughs> it's like this. This rubber would, would suction to it, and I couldn't hardly pull it out in some places, and just uh, just didn't cut well, I don't think. That said, you know, I'm not giving up. I'll, um, I'll try a few more, and maybe I'll try with the gouges and do some different ones, maybe plan it out a little bit more next time. Um... Yeah, so I think this might be the end of the video. Uh, I might show you what uh, what other ones I've done at the end of the video, or um, or if I'm really fed up with it, I might not. <laughs> but we do have a couple more we could uh, we could carve on, and these look really cool actually. So we'll see. Okay, well, I actually went ahead and tried carving another one. And um, I gotta say, my opinion is pretty much the same. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to carve a golf ball. I, I don't. I'm going back to wood, I guess. <laughs> um, number one, you have to you have to cut it open and spend time doing that and. That takes a while. Sometimes it turns out good. Some some of the golf balls that I cut open, they just the skin didn't want to come off, or I don't know. Other times, I'd get the golf ball open and I'd have a nice color, and it would seemed like it was going to work out great. And when I would cut into it, I had a hard time getting the knife back out, or um, or it would just you know I'd make a stop mark, and then I could hardly see the stop mark where I put the stop mark. So. Uh, the other thing is that it, some of them smell pretty bad. <laughs> so I know maybe that's just silly, but uh, all the wood that I've cut into has, has smelled great. So, um, yeah, I, if, if, if any of you guys out there have had just an amazing experience color, carving golf balls, leave me a comment and let, let me know what you did or why you think you had an amazing experience carving, carving these these golf balls. I've got one more here. Andrea said she she would try that one. But uh, this one I just I thought I'd try and do something simple. Uh, I had an anniversary. Andrea and I had an anniversary last week, so I thought, oh, you know, I'll put a heart in there. Even this just seemed like kind of a pain in the butt. And, you know, maybe they're old balls. Maybe that, maybe Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. If I have to go buy balls, then I don't know. I might as well just go buy wood. It seems like with a piece of wood, you just you pick it up and you start cutting into it. With a golf ball, there's a lot of extra stuff you got to do before you start cutting into it. And um, yeah, I, I guess if if you want that kitschy, hey, I carved a golf ball thing, then this is definitely for you. If you don't really care about that and you're just doing this for fun, then I'm, I'm not sure carving a golf ball is for you. Uh, and I don't think it's probably for me. So, <laughs> again, if you, if you love carving golf balls, please leave me a comment. Let me know if there's something you do, why you love carving golf balls. Uh, I'd love to know. But uh, other than that, that's my golf ball carving experience. Have a lovely day.